And we're back. What's going on guys? So a lot of people ask me what cars to buy, which ones are my favorites, which ones I absolutely hate, and you know, which ones I recommend. So we destroy a lot of cars. I think we've done probably, I don't know, 30 or 40 this year. I even want to know how much money I spend on vehicles. It's currently raining, as you can see, but we wanted to get out and do stuff. So I don't know, what should we start out with? Probably the worst car I would never buy is a Buick. Any Buicks. Buicks are pieces of crap. They're overpriced. I hate them. Transmissions are garbage. Every Buick I've had here has lit on fire. I don't even think we've jumped one yet. Holy! Went to get my truck, came back, this thing's on fire! Except a rendezvous. That one jumped all right, backwards. Um, next up, what do we got? Cavaliers, amazing, solid, great for high school kids. They're cheap transmissions, like a rock. They jump incredible too. <laughs> what else we got? Dodge Durangos. Dodge Durangos are one of my favorite because they're like a tank. They're about 9,000 pounds. They're so heavy and uh, they're great for the winter. So I usually only try and get them in the winter because they're four by four. But uh, when they jump, they, they're insane. It's like, it's like jumping a freaking tank and they honestly scare me a little bit, but definitely recommend Dodge Durangos. Um, the Jimmy's. The Jimmy's. I see them bringing back the Blazer. Have you seen that? Like the. It looks incredible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you look at it and you're like, that's not a Blazer. It's like, not a Blazer. No. no. Uh, blazers are awesome. I think I've only had one or two. Frames rusted out, but incredible jumpers as well. Anything 4x4 or all wheel drive, amazing. Ford Escapes. I've been on a Ford Escape binge lately. I think I've had at least four or five in the past few weeks. I think that's my fifth. I love them. They're completely garbage underneath. The rust is incredible. The, the rear ends is rusted and everything falls off. But they're all wheel drive, which is awesome. So they jump incredible. Highly recommend, don't buy a used one. But if you want to jump it or a field car, definitely Ford Escape. Next up on the list, I don't even know. What have we even gone? I'll tell you what, the Saturns. Saturns. Sa okay. Yeah, how can you forget? That's like God's gift to the world. Yeah. Saturn, anything. Yeah. They're undentable. You can't dent them. Even can't Brad, get the doors. Brad can't dent them. For mm -hmm. like He blew out his whole body trying to dent the damn thing. <laughs> Incredible. You can have a smash up derby and then drive the thing home because there's no dents on it. Yeah. Uh, they jump. You know, pretty good, not bad. But uh, I'm gonna give them a uh, six out of 10. It's basically sure. a Cavalier that's undentable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh! You can beat the shit out of these things and they're pretty much undentable. <laughs> Um, what else? We got some oldies. BMW, I had one. It was alright. Standard. Not bad. Had a Mercedes. Rear wheel drive cars for jumping. Not that good because they track all over the place. Same with front wheel drive. Usually that Mercedes guess, was pretty awesome. Though. That was, It was pretty awesome. Yeah. I wish I kept that one. Yeah. Um, what else do we got? 
Should we go into trucks? Trucks. <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep, I'll just keep rolling them out for you. <laughs> uh, Chevy Silverado. I think I've had one or two of those. They were pretty good, but the rear, the underneath them was just crap. I went to go jump them, drive shaft dropped out, unjumpable. F-150s, since they're the most popular truck. Oh like my, here world. comes the biased <laughs> opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed this, quiet, this pain, I stayed dude. quiet when you were talking about Chevys, but then you got your, your eyes light up, you, you're talking the about Fords. Well, the thing is, there's just so many of them, so you can get them for cheap. Yeah. But, uh, we haven't had too many issues with the F-150s. They've all jumped pretty well. F-350s, they're a lot more expensive, so I usually try and stay away from them, but they are a lot more popular. Best jumper I've ever had. V-10, 4x4, that thing. I didn't think it was going to land. I thought it was just going to keep going and going and going. And one more go. <laughs> what should we wrap it up with? What is your favorite car? Well, you know I'm a Cavalier fan, Very but that Jeep Cavalier. Cherokee. You know Come what? on, you're never gonna beat that We're jump. We're gonna cap it with a Jeep Ke Cherokee because, well, that first Jeep Cherokee we had, the one that was gutted, it was two wheel drive. It was, it'd been raining for about a month. Yeah. It was so muddy. I didn't even think I was gonna make it to the jump. All the shocks were gone, so it preloaded just like spring. And that thing flew. Highly recommend Jeep Cherokee. You can drive them till the engine falls out. And then you can probably just tow it and it'll still go faster than any Buick. So. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick review. I know you guys love the car jump videos, all the dumb stuff we do. And uh, if you ever need to find a vehicle, go on Kijiji or Marketplace. They're all on there. You can usually buy them from a meth head and have the best time for 300 bucks. And you just scrap them after. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna try and figure out something to do later in this rain, but enjoy, we'll see you later.